will now demonstrate how to use Minitab to conduct a capability study. The data set is capabilitystudies.mpj. It has two columns of data, the initial process and the improved process. Let's start by looking at the capability of the initial process. The first step is to look at stability over time. So to do that, we're going to use a control chart. Stat, control charts, charts for subgroups, X bar and R. The data that we're going to look at is the initial process. So make sure you highlight your cursor in the dialog box. We're going to, we can select that or double click. Subgroup size is 5. The options, tests. We want to perform all tests for special causes and say OK. And then we're going to run this chart. So let's run the chart. And here we have our X bar and R chart for the initial process. We can see that it exhibits no special causes, so our, our process is stable over time. So that's one of the first criteria. The next criteria is to evaluate the underlying data set to make sure it's normally distributed. So that's going to be stat, basic statistics, and let's just use the graphical summary. So we can get a look at the distribution and conduct a normality test. The variable that we have is our initial process. And just press the OK button and let's get a look at the distribution and the test for normality. Alright, so we can see that we have a nice normally distributed initial process. We have a p-value that's 0.816 is that significantly larger than 0 0.05? Absolutely, it's huge. So what this is telling us is that our data set is not different than a normal distribution. So the hypothesis when we test for normality is our data set is the same as a normal distribution. And if we want to accept that hypothesis, we need to have a very large p-value. If we had a low p-value, then we would have to say that our data set is not normally distributed, but in this case it is. So we pass that hurdle. So it's stable over time, it's normally distributed, we have plenty of data points, we've got 100 data points, so let's go ahead and do our capability study. So that's going to be stat, quality tools, capability analysis, and we're going to do a normal capability study. Our data is in a single column, the initial process. It has a subgroup size of 5. The lower specification that we have in our process is 45. The upper specification is 55, and those are based on customer requirements. Pooled standard deviation, average of moving range. We're going to say OK options. The tolerance of K-sigma is 6. A target. Do we have a target value? Yes, we do. We have a target of 50. We'd like to look at percents, and we want our capability statistics of CP and PP, which is the same as our CPK and our CP, uh, our, our process center PCI. Let's say OK. So here's our initial process capability study. And we can look at a couple of things. Do we have any tails of our distribution that are outside of the lower spec or the upper spec? And we can say, yes, we do. All right, so how much of it? Well, we've got about 5% is below lower spec, and about 2% is above the upper spec, with an overall 7% of our output from our process is outside of customer requirements. Our process capability, our CP, is 0 .64. Alright, CPK, 0 .6. 0 .64 is our PP. 
So what we're seeing here is that we are not capable. We want to have those values to be at 1.33 or greater. So now we know we have to do some work on this process. So the team gets together, works on the process, and they have now improved it. We've gone out and we've collected the new improved process information. So the first thing is, is the new process stable over time? So to check that, we're going to do a control chart, X bar and R. Our data set is now the improved process. We're going to say OK. We can see that the improved process now is still statistically stable. No special causes. Is it normally distributed? Graphical summary. Improved process. It's normally distributed. P-value 0.676, much, much greater than 0 0.05. All right, plenty of data points. So it's stable over time, and it's better than the old process. Why don't we compare the two processes while we're at it? So a way to do that is we could stack our data. So go to data. We're going to say stack columns. We want to stack the initial process and the improved process we are going to put it into a new worksheet. We're going to use the variable names and the subscript column. And I'll say OK. All right, so here is our process output. And we have our stages of the process. We have the initial process and we have the improved process. Let's take a look at this over time. So it's stat, control charts, variable charge for subgroup, x bar r. Alright, now what we want to have is our process output. We're still going to study all of the tests, but now we're going to click on this thing called stages. And stages we want to select C1, and with the first occurrence of, well, with each new value, that'll start. All right, so what's going to happen here is when it changes from the initial process to the improved process, it'll generate a new set of control limits, and that's what we want to see. And so let's go ahead and generate this chart. So now you can see the dramatic improvement from the old process to the new improved process. We can see that we're getting closer to target. We've dramatically reduced the variability, and that's a pretty significant improvement. Well, let's take a look at the capability study and see where we stand. Stat, basic stats, actually quality tools, sorry about that, quality tools, capability analysis, a normal one, and we need to, oh, hang on a second. We've got to change worksheets. Hold on a second. All right. We need to go back to our initial worksheet. All right. So we don't want to be on worksheet two. We want to be in worksheet one. All right. So here we go. Now we're cooking with gas. <laughs> Have to let Minitab know where we are grabbing our data from. All right. So quality tools, capability, normal. Okay, so now we want the improved process. All right, and lower spec and upper spec are the same. We still have the same target value, percents, capability. Say okay, and this is the improved process now. Well, how does that look? Do I have any data outside of the specifications, upper or lower? No, total percent within specification. Everything is within spec. Look at my capability. CPK, 1.36. PP, 1.37. All right. So we're not quite perfectly centered, but we're pretty darn close to it. And everything's well within spec. We've reduced the variability. We've moved toward the target value. It's a dramatic improvement. It's evidenced by a capability study that shows it. And we have very little chance of generating any defects that would go to our customers. All right, so we are greater than a 1.33.
capability industry. We are fully capable, and the team should be proud of the work that they've done. So that's how you conduct a capability study before and after using Minitab.